Hey guys, Akil Mohadeen here, and today, in response to a viewer request, I am going to be comparing USB 1 all the way up to USB 3.0. We're going to be comparing speeds, but not just that, we're going to be going behind the scenes to really see what engineering made USB 3.0 almost 400 times faster than USB 1. understand USB you have to go all the way back to the beginning to USB 1.1 which was released in 1996 and it allowed speeds all the way up to 12 megabits per second then USB 2.0 was released with speeds all the way up to 480 megabits per second which was 40 times faster than the previous version then USB 3.0 was released called super speed USB with speeds all the way up to 4.8 gigabytes per second it was even better than FireWire, which had speeds up to 400 megabits per second or 800 megabits per second. And it was kind of more comparable with SATA, which was 3 gigs or 6 gigabits per second. Now, important things to note was that USB 3.0 was backwards compatible with USB 2.0, but you would know is because the jacks and the ports are usually painted blue. Now, USB 3 has five context points each on the port and on the jack so that means that more connection and you have better transfer speeds that's what's important there and both must be uh, the USB 3.0 so if the port is USB 2.0 and then that jack is USB 3.0 it won't work It'll, you'll just get USB 2.0 speeds at max now most devices are now USB 3.0 because it was released in 2010 but with an external hard drive on USB 3.0 comparable to USB 2.0, you can usually get speeds up to 2.5 times faster. And this is important because on an SSD, if you have like an external SSD or you're copying a file from your SSD to a USB stick or something, then you can get much higher speeds because as SSDs are getting faster, they can catch up to the speed that USB can now handle. So that means like things like the fastest SSD around the OCZ Vertex 4 it has speeds all the way up to 560 megabits per second which is really fast especially comparing it to a hard drive where the standard 7200 RPM only has speeds around 90 megabits per second so as SSDs get faster and people rate SSDs doubling the speed tripling the speeds you can really make USB push it you can really push USB to the limit and that's going to be really important in the future when maybe we have like gigabit per second SSDs, 2 gigabit per second SSDs, which hopefully everyone should be really, really excited for. Because faster is usually always better. Shout out to Techie Games MC. He's the reason that I made this video, so this was for you. Alright, I will see you guys in the next one.